previously. I ask where have you been, your sogginess? Swither. And so we go. Hello friends, my name is Anurang, and welcome back to Paper Mario! Before I get started, let me double check that my camera is... Oh, hold up. Let me double check that my camera is actually as adequate as it's supposed to be. Yes, it is. Let me put that right back down there. And here we go. <coughs> okay. Let's uh, go down to the docks. I hate being in Rogue Port. Nothing wants to work. <coughs> All right. Yo. What? Key honky? Oh, that place is absolutely awful, I've heard. Not long ago, the ship after ship went there hunting treasure, but none ever returned. I bet they met the bad end of the Pirate King's curse. Those guys were dumb. Key honky? You mean that island where the treasure hoard of Cortez the Pirate King is hidden? So, you want treasure, eh? Fine, but keep an eye out on the pirates, Chris. Okay, yeah. Isn't there a guy over here? No. No, there is not. <laughs> key ha key That's the cursed island! Don't get mixed up with that place for your own sake. Okay. No matter how much I work, life never gets any easier for me. Know what I mean? But there has got to be a way to get... Just go poof and get rich, you know, poof. See that ship dock there? The ship belongs to Flavio, the merchant trader. He don't sell too often, though. Mostly he hangs out at Polly's joint in the plaza. Oi, you, with the mustache. What's with the stink guy? I ain't got something to say. Right, then ask me anything. I'm like an encyclopedia. I am not going to answer anything. Key hockey. Oh, key hockey. Listen, mate. Don't ask me about that place. I got no need for my curse for the pirate king. Well, fuck. You're not useful. I don't see anyone on board. I guess let's go talk to Flavio. <coughs> Alright. Let's go. Up the stairs. Uh. <coughs> I want to find Luigi. Like, for real. Is he over here? Holy shit, I hate Rogue Fort. Oh, wait, we also got a cookbook for this chick, didn't we? Yo. Oh, so it's you again, huh, Mr. Stomp a lot? Oh, my name is Zesty. I may not look like a chef, but I'm actually quite good. You bring me ingredients, my cooking skills, first to life, and culinary magic happen. Want me to whip up something for you right now? Uh, no, thank you. Oh, what a complete letdown. I thought you put my skills to the test. I, uh, have a cookbook for you. Uh... I, I have a cook-a-book. Fine. Cook-a with, uh, Mr. Softener. <coughs> dilly dilly da. And unfortunately, that did not turn out quite right. Hey, it happens. Go on, take it, Stompy. Anytime you feel like it, feel free to bring me stuff to cook with, okay? What do I do with this book? I thought I gave it to you, but I guess I do not. <coughs> Luigi, are you over here? Uh, I wonder if he's in the end. I do not see him over here. Hey! I want a number. No. Hmm. All right. Hey, I got a consolation prize. Not that it was very useful, but I got a consolation prize. I, 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 don't talk to a child. <coughs> okay, let's go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wasn't there a place in here that I was just like, what the fuck do I do with this? Yeah, right there. Hey! Look at that. Am 
That was not what I expected. <coughs> Woohoo! If we really wanted to, I guess we could level up Gumbella now, but why? I don't use Gumbella for anything. Alright. Let's go in here. Hey, there's Luigi. Well, I headed to Soccer Break Island and got me a marvelous compass piece. You wouldn't believe it, bro. Talk about thrills, chills, and spills. It was a pretty nuts, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Yes, please. Sounds good to me. Which part of my story you want to hear, bro? Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. Just as our boat arrived at Soccer Break Island, we heard this incredible racket. We soon found that they hold the card races almost every day on the island. Whoever takes first place in the race gets to rule the island as king for the day. Just as we got to the race track, they were holding the award ceremony. I couldn't believe my eyes. Right there on the trophy that they gave to the winner, it was another piece of the marvelous compass. I almost passed that away. I decided right then and there that the only thing to do was enter the next race. I mean, I've driven in car races before, so I thought I'd be okay. Boy, was I wrong. The cars were supercharged machines that could send you airborne with the exhaust. These vehicles were armed with missiles and bazookas. It was anything goes, bro. Of course, I wanted to get right after their pronto. These drivers were crazed. <coughs> but I worked up on my courage and signed up anyway. And my race day finally came. I got to one of the best cards, the big green one. I took my position at the start line. The light went green and I stomped into the accelerator and something bad happened. I was in the reverse. The big green one went rocketing backwards with me yelling. I crashed into the wall behind me hard enough to cut off the screen. And when it fell soup, I dropped the last piece and wrecked my ra racing machine. But it wasn't all the bad news. All the other carts crashed because of my maneuver. Once I got to the gear and took off, I was the only car left. I won by a country mile, bro. I took the piece off my trophy and added it to the marvelous compass. The compass came to life and pointed me toward Jazafaraz down in the east. And then I heard the voice, Princess Eclair's voice, echoed in my ears again. Oh, my princess, random words for form poetry spoke in my inner voice. I will most definitely save you. Just wait for me, Princess Eclair. Oh, sorry about that, bro. Um, so after that, I got back on my boat. <coughs> I came back here to Rongport, and that's what's been up with me. If you want to hear what I've been up to, just come find me, okay? I'll be around. Yeah, I'm talking. No, think for a second, this dude's telling the whole story. The only reason I let him in, and lived in my rig is because he got down on his knees and begged. And what happens? He's in it for one second before he completely totals it. Ugh. I'm not letting this dip out of my sight until he pays me the 5,000 coin repair cost. Very right, bomb, I'm blowing up. This place is like throwing punch for an ordinary bloke. If you want to leave the biggest impression, you got to do it with perfect timing. My mom said that once you get to learn bomb timing, you finally an adult bomb. I'm mom. Um. Mean spam, don't talk to me. My heart's burning for my long lost love. Yes, I'm speaking of the extraordinary beauty of the juice shop in Glitzville. No matter how many times I flirted, she never paid me the slightest attention. <coughs> and then what do you want, huh? Oh, me, you ask. Ah, I am called Flavio. I am, how you say, a traitor. The richest man in Rogueport. Monterey wealth gives me freedom. And yes, my freedom gives me the wealth of spirit. And yet, why is that a man whose life is unchanged must always long for yet more, ah? Huh? What is missing from my life? This terror is at my very insight. I must know. What do I lack? Uh, romance. Romance, you say, ah? Uh, I suppose one does need some romance in life. What other sweet, delectable fruit can make my wonderful pasta sauces? Ah, no, foolish for Lavio, not romance, you silly man. What I need is romance. Wait, hold the horses, that is it. <coughs> now that I am thinking of it, I once heard the treasure of Cortez, the pirate king. Yes, this is the answer. Oh, such happiness for me, a hunt for pirate treasure. Why, that just shrieks of romance and thrills and emotion and even money. Do you not know the tale? The Pirate King's treasure hidden on Quixote. Ah, uh, well, tell say that the Pirate King Cortez hid this hoard of the pirate booty there. For years, treasure hunters and ruffians have gone there in search of the loot. But not a single one of them has ever returned. Oh, the horror makes my back tingle. People here whisper that the Costa Cortez attacks all who seeks the treasure, heck. Is it because of those very rumors that people no longer go to Quixote? <coughs> <coughs> But that will not stop Flavio. The treasure is there, yes, I am going to prove it. For I am Flavio, traitor extraordinaire, millionaire seller of the seven seas. Oh, can I go? What is it you are saying? You are also looking for a treasure, here in Rogueport. Yes, sir. Oh, I talk of such craziness. There isn't anything like that in this dull unfit of a town. 
You cannot be believing each stupid rumor about treasure some street urchin spews out. No, 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 no. And now what madness comes bursting from your mouth? You have a treasure map. Well, hand it over. I mean, rather show me. See? You are having a joke on me. This map leads straight to Kihoki. You swine, you meant to steal my treasure out from under me, you awful, awful man. No. Well, now I'm confused. You are looking for things known as the Crystal Stars. Yes, sir. But now that I am thinking, a star ship shown was said to be in Cortez's hoard. Perhaps I could sell it for a staggering amount of cash? Yes, that would be... Ah, stop such thoughts, Fabio. What you need is romance, thrills, and emotion. I cannot ignore what this business before me suggests. This must be fate to work. Flavio should go with you to Kihoki. Of course, the crystal star is yours, yes, but the rest of the treasure is mine. Okay. Huh? You must repeat that. Flavio's ears are plugged. You have no ship? Ha 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 ha. Do you unfortunate foolish man, do you not know who I am? I will have a ship ready in no time, and it will be massive and glorious. Okay. Splendid, splendid, splendid. Let's begin our preparations immediately, shall we? I will volunteer myself as our intrepid leader, yes, and you will be captain. Ah, danger and adventure tickle my nostrils. Come to my harbor right away. Okay. This about it might be a little crazy. <coughs> I do not want to go through the route again. Let's just say. <coughs> okay. All right, Flavio. Let's do this nonsense. All right, for weather today, eh? Yeah, perfect day to set sail, if I do say so. Wouldn't mind a bit if the whole journey blew in its face today. No sorry, Bob. Grotus, what are you doing here? Hey, oh, yes, I'm going to be filthy rich. I can't wait to leave port. John Board Ho, Port Ho, Giant Monster Blooper Ho. I'm practicing my hose. Uh, please do me. I'm... Your acquaintance, Bohu. You, you are, you are x not. Why are you here? Ah, yes, so it is you. Sadly, a slight problem seems to have popped up. But feast your eyes on this outrageously fantastic ship. She is a fine vessel, no? She is the SS Flavion, the queen of the countless ships in my personal fleet. The raw majesty of her hall, the pomp and circumstance, none could compare to her. Ah, uh, behold the elegant curve of her prow. She cuts the very soul, don't you agree? But she is not just a beauty. She is a savage beast on the water, tops among sailboats. But above all, I tell you, this proud ship, Karen. I just need to go. Ah, uh, yes, did you speak? Yes, yes. The problem that it sprung up. I had it completely forgotten about it. The SS Flavian, she bewitches me. Ah, uh, yes, well, here is the issue. We have no navigator. He ran off the dog. The navigator, of course, is the highest rank helmsman. They steer ships, you know. Now, here is the real problem. The waters around Key Hall Key are deathly dangerous. We need an absurdly skilled helmsman for our navigator. It is, how you say, a pickle. Holy Flavio. Heard you talking there, sir. If you don't mind me saying, I might have a solution. Don't tease me, Papa. You can solve our problem. Then spit it out already. Well, sir, I've heard talk of a famed legendary sailor living in Roeport. Yeah, I think he's called Admiral Bomber. He's a salty old sea dog by all accounts. But he's said to have the Elmsman such, sir. He can make any ship out of his will. I think it's the right to soul what's seen him on the seas of late. But it's a bomb. Problem himself. Let's scout this bombardier fellow and get him on board. <coughs> uh, <coughs> as is customary, my captain will handle all the negotiations. That would be you, Mario. That does sound fair to everyone, does it not? No complaints. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, aye, sounds fair. I'm on board. Good plan. Then it is decided. You must find this bombery and bring him here. Our fortune sells with you. But where the fuck do I find him? <coughs> My mouth is all like... <sighs> do you ever uh, make a purr sound? Can you, if, can, can you purr like a cat? Just... When like when you roll your R's, I'm doing that so much with his voice that my tongue is like tickly. Uh, where do I find Malmory? Do I have a message? No. <coughs> oh, Malmory, where are you? Me. 
maybe if I ask around. Do you know Bomberry? Ah, uh, how refreshing. What? No. Okay. He's probably downstairs, honestly. Uh, it is probably down here. That would make the most sense. Bomberie, are you here? Oh, I got a star piece. I was not expecting that. Hmm. Wonder if he's up there. <coughs> you know, Palmery? That stuff too. About the minstrel? I want a robot that's a minstrel by the name of Grifty. He knows all the old legends of Rogueport, and he'll tell you interesting tales you've never heard before, I'm pretty sure. So if you find him, you should definitely listen to at least one. And that is, if you need anything else, just ask the walkie. <coughs> uh, what about you, sir? Uh, I don't... No, thank you. I just want to find... This is a shop, right? Yeah, this is a shop. Quite a nice shop, actually. Why are there gold bars here? <coughs> is this the guy? Oh, this is the chick that told me where to go. Uh, yes. <sighs> Shit. Okay. <coughs> I don't have enough coins. Where do I go? Let's go back up. Maybe frankly knows the old salty dude. I should have asked the people on the pier. But nah. Frankly. Help. Bobbery? I don't see dog lives in the east side house right next door. They say he was a great and important sailor long ago. Oh, so I did to come to the right place. <coughs> mm -hmm. He lives here? Oh, this is the help shop. And Ishna lives on the other side of that. Uh, let's go this way. <coughs> uh, just, uh, don't tell me to wash my hands with thievery. So I can't be a geologist, I can't be a thief. What should I do? Do you have any talents? Oh, that's funny. Uh, Ishnal, do you know Bobbery? Hey, hey, oh, uh, Chumpy, you said a minute to Twilight Town. Hey, we all got problems to deal with, you know. Well, you're not helpful. Under the fence. Wait, I have an idea. Haha! -ha. The other day I saw this guy jumping from roof to roof. Man, he was so dashing. But you know, actually, it might have been a bandit. Maybe that's why he was seeing me in the chimneys. Wait, what about this thing over here? Oh, I can't get over there. Oh, that puts me back on this side. Interesting. Can I go down here? Nope. I need a cell to get down there. Alright. Get up there. Uh, I 
think I... Haha! Ha! Ha! Hmm. Yo, man. What do you blokes want? Ad Admiral Balmery. I haven't the face since I do who you're talking about. Now, if you please. Drop the axe, Super Stash. We already found out your Admiral Batter Balmery. Oh, what poppycock? Tell me, what would you want with me if I were this chap? You say your ship needs a navigator and you want me to do the job. Mm. So sorry, but you'll have to look elsewhere. I shall set sail upon the sea nevermore. But that's just not cool. You want to see me beg or something? Is that it? You have to come along. Only you can get us safely to Key Hall Key. Awfully sorry, dear boy, but when I say no, what I mean is no. <coughs> no, away with you. So sets up on the scene nevermore. Away with you. Hey. You had a shine sprite in your house. What's up the next move, Chief? The salty dude is going nowhere fast. I can't figure this guy out. What's his beef with the ocean anyway? You know what we ought to do? Go find someone who knows what this dude still is. Frankly, do you know? Oh, well, Bomberry. Well, I'm gonna see. That's a setback. Mm. I don't know what I am myself, so I don't know what to tell you, unfortunately. But I'd be willing to bet that Podley does a thing or two. He works at the Inn's Cafe. All right, to Podley. Ah. Uh. <coughs> All right. Podley, what do you got for me? Excuse me? So Bummery won't go to sea, huh? Well, that can't that surprise me. No question is, are you folks really sure you want Bummery back on the water? Yes, I please. Well, is that so? Now I see. You want to mount an expedition to Keyhole Key. Roof seas up there. Most sailors would meet their end. Not old Bummery, though. The fact of the matter is, Admiral Bobbery still is sad. Horribly sad, actually. You'll probably end up crying, but I'll tell it to you even if you really want me to. Please do. In that case, get ready. Bobbery's tell of Vogue was something like this. <coughs> Bobbery was once married. He had a wife of enduring beauty named Scarlet. The two of them were madly in love, the sort of love that preserved from fairy tales. Now, Bobbery was a renowned sailor, so he was away from home for long periods. Scarlet never complained, though she always waited faithfully for Balmary's return. And Balmary, his eyes never drifted. He loved only Scarlet truly and deeply. So they lived and found happiness where they could, and all was good for a time. But not all good things can last. It was particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill. A virus? A passing cold? No one knew, but it turned to him serious. Balmary at sea, a long, lonely voyage, and nothing of his bride's suffering. By the time he returned, Scarlet had succumbed. She was gone. Bobbery, of course, blamed himself. My loving wife perished because of me. If I were not at sea, I could have nursed her to health. I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts that tormented him always, haunting his sleep. He has never gone out to sea since. That's so sad. Gee, what a downer. I guess that's a pretty good... <coughs> Gee, what a downer. I guess that's a pretty good reason for hating the ocean. You all know his tone. Also tell me, do you still want him to return to sea? Very well, I understand. If you're that determined, then I'll give you this. On her deathbed, Scarlet will bobber a final letter. You hold it in your hands. I don't know what's written inside, but I can tell you she told me as she lay dying. If I should succumb to this plague, if my love should blame himself for my death, then give this letter to him so he may hear my voice. It was her last request. But when I saw Bobbery in misery trying to forget the pain he mourned his wife, I just couldn't bring myself to present this letter to him. I've regretted it ever since. Please, take this letter and do the deed I was too cowardly to do. Take it to Bobbery. Listen, Pod Podley, thanks a ton. We'll deliver this thing. You feel better, okay? That's wrong, Gonzalez. <coughs> ah, Jesus Christ. Back and forth and 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 back and forth. And back and forth.
What? Oh, by Bill Aberton's beard, not you again. No matter how many times you entreat me, my stance is firm. Now away with you. I have a letter for you. Pardon? A letter, you say? F for me? Yes, sir. What? Scarlet. This is Scarlet's handwriting. Why, why am I talking like Flavia? Scarlet's my love. My love, if you're reading this letter, then I am no longer by your side. Because your fate has stepped between us, I have decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this, I must have passed away. Why were you out to sea? I can only assume that you will only blame yourself for it, my sweet Bobbery. Although my life was short, you gave me more than a lifetime's worth of joy. Though you will mourn, I beg that you remember that time, like love, is a tide. You are one with the sea as you are one with me. Do not lose both your life's loves. Time, like love, is a time, like love, is a tide. You are one with the sea as you were one with me. A, a thousand pardons, but I may have a moment alone, if you please. <coughs> Yes, love. I was happy. My sweet, sweet Scarlet. I love you still. Hello. <coughs> still recording, but I'm almost done. You are home before Sam. Mm -hmm. Now then, you were looking for a navigator, I believe. Bound for Key Hall Key. Yes, sir. Girl, if you think an old sea bum like me is what you need, then let's shove off. Admiral Bomberry, yes. Yay, join our party. Ship's in the harbor. Hmm? I must inspect her before we leave. I shall meet you there. Awesome. Let's go freaking save. All this good. I am so done with this. <coughs> I'm actually... What? Email. Uh, Batuni, 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 Batuni. Okay. Yeah, sorry, Petuni, I don't care. I'm actually gonna go save down at the harbor so I don't have to walk very far to shove off. <sighs> Alright, so let's save here. <coughs> Alright, I'm gonna call that good. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. So they're not setting out.